welcome to our Saturday Night Live. We go live every Saturday night with our thrift haul, and we tell you what we paid for and what we're going to sell it for. We either sell it online at jamierayvintagehome.com or in our shop here in Lehigh, Utah. If you're new, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Eh, thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up, up and subscribe to our channel because we love new members. Zeb's going to get right in. We always go straight to the beaten potatoes, and he's going to start telling you what we paid. He actually did not come shopping with me. I didn't. I was uh, busy editing yesterday's video so that we could get that up on the website. So if you haven't seen that uh, fireplace makeover slash saving the crumbling mantle and fireplace and all the fun stuff, uh, go check that out. It's up on the channel. I am so glad that we were able to get that finished. I've been wanting to do that fireplace forever because uh yeah <laughs> and he you know that Zeb, Zeb did have to help check me out because my wallet was left in his car i had to hurry and edit she's like hey um how far away are you because i don't have any way to pay for all this stuff i've been thrifting i'm like please don't make me go back and not get to be able to pick this up all right so this is a resin horse two dollars and it's missing an ear but i think some paper clay and some construction adhesive and it will no longer be missing an ear and it'll probably get painted so that you don't see or notice the repair and we'll probably do it in some fun apothecary or something like that some some color I, you know we might go white we've it's, i don't think we've done a horse or animal white in a long time so. well i love anything equestrian and i always feel like it's hard to find but this we actually played how much did we pay for that two dollars so two dollars i would have probably paid up to five dollars and we'll sell it for somewhere around 22 once that fix the ear and we give it a new paint job because it does need a little bit of love so this is a mystery to me what you got some sheets back here it's a vintage sheet it was it That's was four dollars. <laughs> well, it's a fitted sheet, so I don't know how vintage it is. Yeah, it's well. Show them the fabric. They well, have I mean, they have vintage fitted sheets. It that smells vintage. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I guess we'll have to wash it so it smells like fabric softener. How yeah. About that. There you go. You cracked It's me big. Up. I don't know what size. We're making people feel like our stuff is awesome, and Zeb's like, it smells vintage. That doesn't mean it's not awesome. Is I'm it 100% cotton? You know what? When you watch this show, you guys are getting 100% truthfulness. Like, we try not to hide anything that's real and going on. Well, I can't even try to hide it because you'll be like, hey. I'll be like, hey, I don't feel like that's super great quality. Does it say what the Let's fabric not sell it to the made people. out of? <laughs> Oops, let me turn on the um, I'm going to guess something of a cottony. It feels cotton. There's no give to it, so I don't think it's got any... Uh, spandex Thanks, Sally. stuff in it or whatever that is patrick is so real when it comes to video that's what tanya says <laughs> here i'll drop the link to my shirt this is why we're a little bit late because i just got this shirt in and i wanted to put it up on the website <laughs> i see no makers tag there's the di tag saying that they checked it over and it's safe to sell no but... it just says it's four dollars well, now, judging like... by this elastic, it's definitely vintage, and the fabric is this really pretty stuff. Oh, 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 we oh, found something. Oh, that's totally a vintage tag. Uh, Monticello, no iron, it's muslin, 50% polyester, 50% cotton. Made in the USA. Oh, it's a king. We could put that on our bed. I know you love flower sheets. You know what? Maybe I'd sleep a little better if I had this beautiful vintage sheet to sleep on. You'd have flower dreams. Anyways, I just love vintage sheets. You can use them to make uh, pillows with or cute blankets or whatever. Anyways, I would say $4. I probably would sell it for about <laughs> $15.95 for that sheet. So, what color is my blouse? Um, it says it's slate, but I would say this is like periwinkle. Yeah, it's got is a purple. It's definitely a purple. You know what? Vibe. It's water. No, it's like blue purple. I would say it's water lily. It's blurple. It's blurple. It's water blue, lily. Blue and it's got a cute little um, slash blurple. Oh, tags hanging out. It's got a cute little keyhole in the back. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Zeb doesn't like when I start off straight with the clothes. There's marbles in here. Did you know that? Yes. Are these vintage marbles? Um, they were free marbles. I don't know. I went to a clothing swap, clothing and junk swap with my friends. So me and all my friends are like, okay, bring everything that you want to get out of your house that you haven't been able to get rid of during the situation, and we're all swapped. And so we brought all the clothes and decor and things, and I scored those marbles, and I thought they'd look super cute in a jar. 
You know, by the time I was growing up, marbles were, they were well on their way out. That They weren't really a thing, but it always reminds me of the movie Hook. Because, you know, Toodles lost his marbles. Jen says my top is French millinery. Or Peter Pan. No, you know. I think French millinery. Or Peter Pan, you sure? No. The marbles. Oh. I'm, the, I'm still on the marbles. I wish they are talking about my shirt, talking about marbles. We're on the show. We're like on two separate shows, but on the same camera. All right, so this is also for free from my swap. Debbie, somebody said we reminded him of Chip and Joe, and Debbie said we remind her of Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I think this would be super cute in a jar. This tray, it's cute as is, but we'll give it a new look. Um, I would probably, if I was going to thrift it, pay up to $5, and I'll sell it for about $20. You know, I get a little silly every now and then, but Chip takes the cake on the silliness. I think Chip and I would have words. I'm probably the Chip and I relationship, although every now and then you're a little strange. Oh, Carson Millie Super Chat. Thank you, Tarnia. All right. Tina said oh. they look good in this color. And Rosie's saying periwinkle. I call this the slate top, but I think I'm going to switch it to periwinkle because I agree that that's what color this is. Oh, Jean's on here. Hey, Jean. Definitely purple. Jean was working crazy at the shop today, trying to get all new the clothes put up and deal with customers. We, we had a busy. lot of people come in. Jean wants a shirt. You do. Jean, this is a small, but it's one of those, like, Jean and I are always talking about mom muffin top shirts. This is totally one of those shirts that's, like, snug up here, but loose in the midsection after you have children. So it's a good one. This is one of the coolest birdhouses I think we've ever found at a thrift store. It's pressed tin, and it's got like, like this my, my find? lacy metal down here on the bottom. So I wouldn't have found that if I didn't have to wait for you when I made my third and fourth round around DI. I found that hiding in yeah. two bucks. I'll sell it for probably like fourteen ninety five. While she was waiting for money job. bags to show up. Money bags? <laughs> don't be scared. Don't. You know they take Apple Pay. At the but DI my, now, but your phone is linked to not the business I know. card. So, so here's the problem. I left my wallet at the dollar store. The dollar store called Chase. Chase canceled my personal debit card. So all I have is my business debit card and my Apple Pay is my personal card. So until I get my new personal card set up on my Apple Pay, I can't even use Apple Pay if I don't have my wallet. There's my predicament. What's this? Oh, super chat from Sally Bunswell. She said she loved the fireplace. That was just over there trimming it out. I've been doing like, trim all we evening. We should have told everybody we were trimming it because people were like, are you going to trim that? Yes, we are trimming the fireplace. We're trimming it out. I, well, it looked, we just ran out of gas. It was like 12, 15 at night. You How know. much are the marbles, Diane? I don't know, like probably five bucks for this bag, five bucks for that bag. How much do marbles cost, Diane? I don't know. You we know could, more than me. What, could, what would you pay for them? I just thought they'd be cute in a jar. We could ask my dad. My dad was a pro marble shooter. Zeb is the sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah. I am the benefactor of the sugar mama. <laughs> well, you are in your 49%. Yeah, I do. If anybody was wanting, it's just, it's 51.49. So this was $3. It's metal. And I actually love the art that's on it and what it says. So... I think this goes right with our regular decor and we don't need to do anything to it, but Let scrub it. It's a little like uh, Walmart cheesy, like not that Walmart's bad, but just it looks a little bit know. like something you'd find at the Walmart. I was planning on painting it. Where are you now? Like I like the rooster and I, I, don't, we, I don't like the eggs. The eggs are what, they're too realistic, aren't no, they? No, where it says eggs. I don't like oh, the font. you don't like the font on the word it eggs? It needs a stencil. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. You know, I think we I, have I a Farm that, Fresh eggs stencil that could go on here. Donna from Crescent Moon Cottage is right. She says it's a little too dark. And Cindy says paint it. So I vote paint it. So let's put it in well, the paint pile. Well, it's got these pile. two holes that can accept screws to hang on it's the wall. It's going in the paint it pile. It might get painted tonight. All right. Magazine basket. All right, wait, wait in, guys. Who still gets magazines? Who signed up for that? Oh, J Diane wants both of these jars. Diane, you know what, Diane? I owe you some trade money, so we'll take this off your trade money. I'll stick it in your pile. Diane, Diane has a... Whoop, they're still in the bag. They're still in the bag. Diane has a pile, and about once a month, she swings down here and picks all her stuff up. <laughs> Diane has good piles. And then she brings us stuff. It's fun. It's a very symbiotic relationship, give and take. All right, so this basket here was also from the free swap. I would have paid at least $5 for it, and here we'll sell it for $14.95. It's the perfect magazine basket or junk basket for your stairs. I actually think this would look pretty good whitewashed. It's kind of orangey. I don't, 
I don't hate it, but we can whitewash it if you want to. I actually think it would also be a good flip flop, flip, flip flop basket. Flip flop. Because flip flops always go all over the closet. So if you just have one place to put them, then it's good. All right. So free. What would? You, what did you say you'd sell it for? Love the curly wire baskets. Um, fourteen ninety five. So these are also from the free swap. They don't need anything but a scrub. Yeah, that swap just keeps. Giving. I know it's like keeps on giving. Twelve ninety five each for these. Um, or maybe the set for nineteen ninety five. I think that's better. But I would probably pay at least a couple bucks for these. All right, you want to put them over there? So yeah, this is a fun. Katie's got down here. Katie, you've had some rocking videos lately. Yeah, Good job, your Katie. Videos are doing great. All right, little sled for you. It was originally from Gordman's for five bucks, and then looks like it got clearanced out and taken to the. Uh, thrift store and was sold for two dollars to us we'll probably I, paint it no i like it the way it is oh okay i would say 5.95 so you know we we paint the cool chicken sign but we don't paint the sled because it's cute okay i'm with you it's like you've just started working with me <laughs> there's two sleds you know i'm really second guessing my life these days because you know every time i do something at the farmhouse you drive by and you're like hey we need to change that don't tell people that. They're going to think I'm mean. Not mean. I don't I just... say, hey, we need to change that. I'm just like, hey, let's talk <laughs> through this. Let's negotiate the so, situation. So this is her negotiation skills. Can we move that to over there? <laughs> she I asks told you the... I'm not a designer. She... I have to see it. Today we were hanging the trim and I'm like, do you want this to look like the windows or do you want it to just be like regular trim up top? Which is fine. You know, I've lived with her almost 20 years now. I know how she works. So I'm up there on the ladder, hanging the trim. She's like, I gotta see it. So it's not stapled up. I've got like three pieces of trim in my hand, trying to hold it so she can see what it's gonna look better like. Better that than after you finish. Right? Yeah, it's better than having to redo it. That is for sure. There you go. Um, and Amber's brass sled just like that for $2 at auction. And Ian's now a channel member. Hey, Ian, what's make up, sure you Ian? Community, because there you'll get your extra videos and the printables. We actually have a printable coming up probably Monday because we did a little photo session with the chickens today. They got so, out and ran in the grass for the first time. And... Um, so Elaine has it right. She says, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, you know, I, I, I live that. That's, that's like a great You make motto. me very happy, Zebra. <laughs> oh, Sally just ordered my shirt. Sally, Sally you're a tiny little thing. You can fit you and Michael in this. Sally also had a uh, another she, shirt that I saw her mm -hmm. take a picture of. Yeah. Caitlin popped by and saw the chickens today. Five dollar clock, real quick. We're gonna get a clock in. Five dollars for this shelf sitter. It's got a battery in it, but I don't see it working. Laura doesn't want me to paint the tray. Which the tray? The chicken one. Um, that's I don't the only know. kind of thing. Laura, we've you're sold gonna have to tell me like which tray it is. I'll try to not miss your comment. Happy house, happy spouse. Yes, I do also like Zeb to be happy. I bring him food. She does. She, she's like, hey, are you hungry? I'm bringing food by. Which means I don't have to stop working. I can just keep going. Was there any other tray, Caitlin? I don't think so. All right, so the big tray that we got from the swap, don't paint it. I'll so this clock tomorrow. is probably going to get a paint job and be right around... What is it? What did I pay for it? $5. Probably like $14.95. Yeah, it was, won't be hard to paint. I was going to say $15. Yeah, so right, right on. There. We're five cents apart. Yeah. That's closer than we've been all day. Yeah. i just been driving you around all day. Oh, the one I got in the swap. Okay, Laura, I'll put that aside. Just make sure you email Caitlin. All right, sweet. Got Laura what she wanted. And I, you know, I was like, you know what? I had a time. I'm going to get some of this stuff up on the website so people don't have to email Caitlin. I did got zero things on the website. So um, if you want something, this. email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. And Caitlin will let you know pricing and shipping. All right, so this was from my friends. Hold on. So she does. I'm, I'm drawing she, a total blank. Down. She sells doors. No, and... uh, Mike and Audrey Forbush. Yep. There we go. If you're in Utah, look them up on Marketplace. They sell a ton of stuff. We spent seven hundred dollars there on old doors, but they also have a bunch of smalls. We pretty so so before you're like whoa seven hundred dollars on old doors. We were spending like $50 and $60 a door on solid antique doors that are going to go in the farmhouse. Whereas like if you go down to the hardware store right now, one of those cheap plasticky feeling hollow core foam doors are about $60 to $70. And some of these doors are pretty big, so they would have been more expensive. The most expensive door I bought was from the 1800s and it was $100. We had to order two doors because we have uh, ADA accessible doors for the guest suite in case anybody has a wheelchair that visits us. 
and they were 36 inches wide and I paid almost no I did pay I paid like $200 a door to get solid doors for that so that's crazy to me so we went antique door shopping it was really fun well she also has her garage full and on Saturdays she does like this almost like a yard sale type thing but you can just come and go through it's almost like a shop but it's only she does it on Saturdays and she had a ton of other stuff there that we got so these were five dollars a jar this one is missing its lid. So that one's like a 1995er, but these big ones, they're like uh, at least two quarts. And so they'll be $24.95 per jar. So that was actually a, the steal of the day. Some of my pricing is based off of what I spend, but sometimes it's based off of what it's worth. And actually in some antique stores, these would be upwards of $40. So $24.95 yeah. is a good price and I'm still making a profit. And so. she scored this wire basket also from there. Look how huge this is. Now the basket I paid 10 bucks for. This is like a blanket basket. Yeah, it's big. You could put a couple of pillows in it, a, a throw. I'll sell that basket for probably like $34.95. I'll say this, it's big enough. You do not want to fill it full of vegetables and go skipping down the street from the market because it'd it'll be, be way too heavy. You know, every time I skip down the street from the market with my vegetables, I think, you know what? I better not bring a big basket. Or at least a two-handle basket so it doesn't get lopsided. Or you can put it on your bike. Yeah. So, you know, my vegetables the coolest... come delivered by Instacart from the Costco. The coolest thing about this basket is the wooden handle. That's like a baby car seat basket? Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> oh, this big star. So I have kind of July 4th is coming up. And so is Labor Day, so it's very Americana all summer. And I'm going to do an Americana display, and I found a bunch of stuff at the thrift store, but then she had this big star for 6 bucks, and we'll sell it for probably like 13 or $14 in the shop. And I thought, I just like it as is, so it'll go in my Americana display. So, yep, I love it. All right, so let's put the star over there. Okay. Thank oh. you, Dan. I like the way the fireplace came out, too. We got the rolling pin. I was holding it and showing it. It's got really cool handles. They'll get painted, um, but we sell these for like ten ninety five to twelve ninety five. Leslie said she brought Prom Queen at JRB. Did you do it on the website or did you come into the store? Jean was so busy at the store today. Heidi's picturing you skipping down the street with a basket full of veggies. Is he also wearing a gray leopard cardigan? Jack and I do a lot of skipping. We high with step With vegetables? It. No, it's like a football drill. Oh, that's high knees. That's different. Whatever you want to call it. It's, well, sk it's skipping. Okay. You just go high. All right. <laughs> so this was only a dollar, but it's a 1962, I think, in Narco. Or I think it's just Narco. I think that's just part of it. So Narco E729. It's got these really cute little cherubs. I don't know that I'm going to paint it. I'm just going to wash it. And I'll probably, I need to look up the value because I don't know. If it's not like super valuable, then I would probably sell that for about $9.95. But if it's worth more, I'll look up the value and see. How much was the last mason jar? Oh, so the big mason jars are $24.95 for the big mamma jam. There's one without a lid. It's $19.95. Yeah. Discount jar. They're all the same. They, they're they the same size. Matt, well, it's not about painting anything. There. You know I'm painting something that yeah. you have to wait. We'll get to paint. We got to clear this off right, and then clear. we'll get to it. Jimmy's making a little pile over there of painted stuff. So another chicken platter. Is this one also too dark? Um, well, it's got some nut, like nooks. It does have some dings. Nix. I actually love the chicken, but this was my thought. I love the middle. What if we just paint the frame? Can we just get away just with painting white. the lip of the just platter? Just paint the frame white and leave the middle of the platter because I love the chicken, but it's got some nicks on the side. I think, I think also if we paint this white, it'll really brighten it up and make the chicken actually look yeah. like the focal well, piece. And it's got a nice lip here, so it's $3. We'll paint the frame. We'll sell it for $19.95. I think I can do that. I can do that tonight. Angelina says yes. Okay, here. Put this in the paint pile. Okay. Paint pile! Okay. Okay. Only things with chickens on them. So this is like a little animal carrier, but I don't know that it um, was actually ever meant to carry animals because I don't see a way to actually put them it's in. It's not rated for animals. Look at this little wire. No, yeah. I think I need to find a fake chicken to put in it. Okay. I do actually have a bunch of eggs that would be really cute to. Just oh, put you in could it. just put a bunch of eggs in. Yeah, and I don't think I had a price, so I think it was like two bucks. I'll sell it for like twenty. Nineteen ninety-five. It's cute. I've never seen anything like it before. It's got a reed handle. Caitlin says, yes, fake chicken. Now I just have to find a fake chicken. We had a bunch. We painted them apothecary. No, not that kind of a fake chicken. Like the, the kind that has like the feathers on it and stuff. Oh. This is a key box. I don't know why I bought it other than it was a key per. Get it? Did you know that it had a big lock in there? It, the, no. I don't, 
I don't think it has it's, anywhere to go. It's like the treasure. So it's yeah. cardboard. It's a dollar fifty. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not like, especially well made. Well, it's like that press board. It needs a paint like, job. We'll put the paint sturdy. on. Dollar fifty. Depending on how cute it is, probably like. I feel like I need 12, a gold 95. chain to put this lock right here. The lock to my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll make you a necklace you can wear with your leopard sweater. Two dollar <laughs> clock. This is a much better buy than that five dollar. I know. I thought clock. it was a smoking buy. It's solid wood. The color's not too bad, but you know we'll probably paint it. Rocky Mountain Way. Yep. Stuff that horse on that basket with the straw. The horse is a little fancy for that farmhouse. It's the the horse is very like Upper Hampton style, and that's like Jamie Ray style. The straw. <laughs> we were debating what our style was earlier yeah, today. Yeah, Zeb being all gangsta. Yeah, no. <laughs> so we didn't talk about that. So that clock will be twenty bucks. We paid two bucks for it. There yeah. you go. Transfer on the clock. All right. So this is part of my Americana theme. Trippy navy blue bunk pants. Um, we sell our bunk pants for ten ninety five each. And these were $1.50. And I won't do anything to them because they're chippy navy blue. Who doesn't love that? Perfect for fall and 4th of July. Boom. Yeah. Done and done. Brianna, you want a butt pan? Email Caitlin and we'll make sure you get one. Because we got two. And the inside is like chippy white. And this is like original paint. They didn't spray paint this situation. They're just really great. So they'd be great hanging on a wall like this. You can't see that, but it's... I promise you it's great. Oh, actually, here's the trick. When you hang them on the wall, you don't hang them on these. You hang them in the middle. Otherwise, they slide off. There you go. Boom. Or it would be really cute to do an arrangement inside here. Or like candies or fresh fruit for a 4th of July barbecue. Strawberries. Then you get the red, white, and blue. Ooh, strawberries. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Okay, so this is just a little... Uh... I don't know, pedestal, pedestal slash platter. Needs a paint job going in the paint pile. Two bucks, we'll sell it for $14.95. All right, this, you know, this one must have got Jamie. This is a little high for a tote, but so I'm assuming she $7. liked the scallops. You that didn't? came from Molly. And it's, oh, Molly paid $7. So I did some shopping with Molly, and I don't actually know exactly what all I bought. There's a bunch of stuff on the back porch. The tote was $3. Molly paid seven, I paid three. I'm gonna sell it for 22 because I would have paid seven because the scallops. The scallops, she loves they're them. Bomb. They're It'll it's... be worth every bit of $22. This is gonna get a paint job and a, a uh, mini grain sack stencil. I really like how tall the handle the tote. is. I feel like we need to replicate this tote. Harrington could make these yeah. all day long. But would it be worth making them to sell them for 22? Well, maybe You know we'll... what? We can make them and flat pack them and people could assemble them. I need, yeah, that actually. Weigh in. If you think you've got the skills to put some finish nails in this or use like a staple gun and you want to see this flat pack. All right, I'll paint the black spray, Brianna. It was $5. If, if, if there's enough interest, we'll recreate this. Sorry, I'm distracting you from your marketing moment. No, I'm just, I'm just If you would buy this for $22 flat packed and you would have to staple it to assemble, comment below and let us know. There you go. That's what she wants. Um, so this was $5. I don't know, $22. Huh? $22, yeah. $5 and I'm going to sell it for... It's not even assemble. $14.95. Because it's a big, thick, chunky frame. It is thick. And I actually got some pictures from my sister Deborah of my grandma when she was a baby and she was so fat and cute. So that's going to go in She looked a lot like Jack, actually. And I'm going to sell it with my grandma's picture in it. I'm going to sell my grandma. <laughs> I'm going to print it out on the laser printer. It's not like a family heirloom. So this is like a pedestal slash cutting board. That It looks like it's pine, but oh, check Julia it out. Julia wants that wholesale. Definitely. Anything we create retail will be in our wholesale lineup when time moves here. Yeah, we're getting ready. Like, as soon as the farmhouse is done, that's Probably like that's September like, is when it'll launch because we'll get started in That's when they're August. coming. So $1.50 for that. What do you think it is? I was just like, eh, It's it a cutting good. board slash probably like a pedestal or something. It's, it's it needs a standing scooped on the it, Well, it's scooped on the top, but it sits very flat. It doesn't rock. And it's been doweled together, not so, screwed. I think that I would just sand this smooth and then put some hemp oil on it and then I'd sell it for about 20 bucks because that's cool. Yeah. It's got Way a little cool. dish to it. You can see it's got a little bow in there. I feel like that just adds like a little age, like it's been worn down over the years. Deb, you use, Deb still makes pig cutting boards on both websites, Dan. Oh, Leslie says launch what? So we're going to take everything that we 
retail and if people are wholesalers for JRV stencils or they become wholesalers, they will also then be able to wholesale our wood products that we make. We're going to make a lot but that's, of really that's coming cool up stuff. in a few months. We'll talk about it later. And of course, yeah. Aussies can do it. If you want to pay to get it shipped to you, Charmia, we'll ship it. We'll be making some really cool stuff that is either A, hard to find or or uh, hard to get a hold of because it's always they sold they out. I think it used to be a chair seat. I don't think so because mm. of the way that the... Yeah, I mean, maybe, but Complete you know with what? Cat hair, that's gonna need to be. I, this might be like a bucket topper. A lid? Oh, Sandy and you had the same thought the same moment because she said, looks like a lid to something. Yep. Well, we are gonna turn it into a cutting board slash pedestal situation. So, Crescent Moon says plant stand. We'll wind up sealing it with the hemp oil that we sell at jamierayvintage.com because hemp oil is food safe. So, we'll clean it really good with open water, we'll sand it. We'll do hemp oil, and then if somebody wants to use it as a cutting board, they totally could. All right, I'm going to move oh, you guys back. Oh, cheese and sausage. That must be Eric talking, not Dawn. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming around with Hi. it. Hi. Ty and Rye are planning on moving up here as soon as the front house is finished. That's all the information we have right now, but we promise more is coming. All right, got to get moving, man. All right, so do you guys remember we have them on the website? Like three months ago or two months ago, we found these little tarnished frames. We found more. From Chrissy and Jim. And apparently while the thrift store was closed, they organized themselves because I found 42. 42. They were 50 cents and we sold them for $3.95 on the website. And so now we're going to offer more styles. Are we so going to print your grandma out small and put it yeah, in Yeah, we're going to put my fat baby grandma in here. And we, we carried this style on the website now, and then we're going to add these two styles. And we're going to put it, if we put my, if we print out a picture though, I, I feel like I'd have to ask one money because it's a little bit of work. It is a little bit of effort. Maybe yeah. we'll just sell them. Maybe we'll just sell them as is. In the shop, if you buy one out of the shop, you get my cute fat baby grandma. What about I this top that, that they're in? My, cute, my kids were all cute fat babies. What? Oh yeah, baby grandma. This was <laughs> this is brass. Yeah. It was three dollars, and I'll sell it for fourteen ninety five. I've not it's seen it. It's brass brand. with a copper band around it's it. It's from Woolworths. It has the original sticker inside. I don't. I would dump it out and tell you what it originally was sold for, but That's I don't. A lot want, of effort. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. So sconces, two dollars each. We sell them for fourteen ninety five each, each, and we paint them. They already come have hanging hardware. These always sell if they're in a pair. They sell quick. Sometimes if we do a pair instead of $14.95, we do like $22.95 for the pair. All right, take those over there, Zeb. All right, Will I'm just going to hand you a bunch of stuff since okay. you're rapid firing. Are you wanting to get to the painting? I, well, we just, I bought, I spent a few hundred dollars today. So these are all brass. Um, and they were like $2 each, $1.50 for the little vase. We sell this size for $6.95 at the shop. And we always just stage them together. And sometimes they sit around for three months and then somebody wants a hot piece of brass and they buy all of them. This is a brass pot originally from Woolworth. I think that's copper. And it was, oh, it's copper, sorry. This is a copper and brass because the top is brass. Um, it was originally $1.69. And at DI, we bought it for the low, low price of $1.50. And I will sell it for $12.95. So it's copper and brass. It's got a rose on each side. It's got a dent too. So if you don't like the deck, then you just show fall. that side. We got right. a bunch of these little flags. How much were these? These 50 flags cents are 50 each. cents each. We'll sell them. I don't know. How much do flags sell for like this size? Like six bucks? Maybe five. Yeah, five ninety five. But when I do a display, I'll find something tall to like stage these in and fan them out. And Zeb will make sure that they don't hit the floor because he's very good at I'm that. I'm very particular about that. Okay, so this is also going in my Americana theme. It was a dollar. We'll sell it for $7.95 in the shop. It's not actually old, but it is actually cute. This is a cobalt blue stoneware. I don't know how old it was. It was a dollar. We'll sell it for $9.95 in the shop. This is an actual legit old stoneware bowl, like the kind like crock type stone. And I paid $1.50 and I'll sell this for $14.95 because it's actual stoneware. This is like rapid fire thrifting. Doesn't have a maker's mark on it, but again, it's still awesome. And if nobody wants it, it'll go in my personal collection. So you can kind of tell it's old because it's got like some of the bubbles and imperfections in the pottery. So, so this is Sally says stay out of the Woolworth. So this is tarnished. I'm guessing it's plated of some sort. Mm -hmm. It's it's very heavy, probably made tin. in China, which means quality. 
not necessarily old. Jamie paid $15 for this. Yeah, so that was, I'm not going to have a big profit margin. That'll sell for $24.95. But the thing about that is that it's going to sell like quick. I'll put some, I actually bought it because you know those flowers we just got here. Go grab those flowers. The one. There's an oh, exact the reason ones. I bought this. I don't care if anybody buys it because it'll look good in the shop. $24.95 and we bought these bouquets. We sell on the website and I just put a few in there. Look how good that looks. So I'm going to stage this up in the shop with the bouquets that we sell. Three is the perfect number. And Four would be too much. <laughs> so you could cost yourself $100 because these bouquets are $24.95 each. <laughs> Plasticky. So this is, this, is a, this is a $100 situation here. But anyways, it's a great display and it's beautiful. And they never die. So there you go. That's why I bought it. It was worth it. Okay. A dollar, thank you for grabbing those flowers, by the way, sweetie. A dollar fifty. I love milk glass. Scalloped dishes like this sell fast. $14.95. Whenever I find them, they always have the dang scallop broke. So I was super excited to find this one intact. I won't yeah, we've buy had it. that style in various sizes before. Yeah, I won't buy it if the scallop is broken. I'll put this over here so you can move it over Did there. you show all the bolts and everything? Yes, I already, I already did all that. Man, you're going. $8. This is heavy. So this is going to be like a $40 piece. I think piece. it's resin. It's made of resin, very detailed, needs a paint job. It'll be $40, not old, but cool. It'll get like apothecary in a white wax situation and then all the detail in the little feet are gonna pop. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm that's all right. Flat I'm, surfaces. I'm, I'm moving stuff around. Well, the problem is I've been buying a lot. So next we've got this little display, more stars for my um, red, white, and blue display. Not gonna paint these. They were all $1.50. Probably sell for like $4.95 each. They're really cute, so that'll go in the Americana display. I really lucked out with 4th of July stuff today. I always someone, like it when I can buy it all in one place. I missed who has said it. Someone wants to paint the box tonight, the one that you just Oh, got. okay, I'll try. We, they if we get through the trip, we, we have a lot have of requests. So this was $5, I'll sell it for 19 dollars just a cotton wreath. This is a, a uh, lemon tree situation, topiary, two bucks. It's worth $22.95. Topiaries are actually more expensive than one might think. Well, topiaries are way expensive. I know, because if I one bought that wholesale, bought... it'd be 40 bucks. Yeah, I was gonna say, one time you bought an olive one and I was like, how much was that? And you're like, oh, this is $60 I... half off. Yeah, so anyways, that one's 22, what did I say 22 or 24? I think it's 22 is 20. something somewhere around there. I'll have to rewatch, I don't know. All right, here's a basket. This is a really heavy duty metal basket and it has this wood disc. It was five bucks. I'd sell it for 22. All right. I like the wood disc. This clock is bomb diggity. It was $8 and I will sell it for $49.95, which is a smoking deal. It's going to get a bomb paint job with some sort of stencil. Bomb is the, I got to come up with a different word. It's going to get an I awesome mean, paint job. you did just mix bomb diggity. I, that really dates me. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paint this beautiful clock here, a new B word besides bomb, um, and we'll put some sort of stencil or transfer in here, $49.95, and this is a hanging wall clock, but it's like a baby Mora, right? Like if you can't afford the $300, $400 fake Mora, then you can afford the $50 wall Mora. This does come with a chime. Yeah, complete with chime. Don't know if it works. Did, you, right. did you show them that this opens? Oh, also it opens to hide your valuables. You know what this is perfect for? Your Put, keys? Putting like tissues and stuff in there when you're like walking by and you gotta sneeze. I always, I always, need a I always say, let me clocks. get to the clock so I can sneeze. I'm just saying, if it's on the wall and you're walking by it. Apothecary style jar, also from my clothing swap. It could also be because my nose is really itchy and I'm real sneezy right now. <laughs> Probably. $16.95 for this one. All right, I'm almost made it through. This I bought for Debbie. It was five bucks. I don't know what she's going to sell it for, but it's basically new. That might end up like in her apartment somewhere. Yeah, she'll probably sell it for although, like 30. Although her poor apartment, like she can, she has to rotate pretty regularly. Yeah, it says handcrafted in India. I paid five bucks. She'll sell it for 30. It's really cute. I don't know what she'll sell it for. I'm not the boss of her, but I'll, I'll ship it to her this week. It's going to cost a little bit to ship, so she might sell it for more than that. All right, so I bought dishes. It's not actual silver. It's the Oneida Rogers stainless steel. It was $12. That was under the glass. This was under the glass. 
and it's the one that has the rose on it and I bought it because my mom has had these dishes my whole life and I know that $12 is a steal because I normally pay 50 cents a spoon even for the cheap ones when we're running out of dishes at our house so these are going to go in the buffet at the farmhouse it even has like the butter knives too because they're fancy like that the serving ware the sugar spoon my mom's like, is it a complete set? I think it's a service for eight. I mean, mostly it's here. So I'm going to save it and use it at the farmhouse because we always need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe a service for ten. There's ten knives. But at any length, for $12 is still because this set, I think a service for eight normally runs you about 90 bucks if you buy a brand new. Brass lamp, also from the swap, does not come with a bulb. I think, I really Retails like that style lamp. That probably $20 in the shop, but I was thinking it would be great on your desk. I was just I thinking that. I knew you were going to like that. So I actually got from Molly her old front counter, which was a drafting desk from Lehigh High School from like the 40s. And that's going to be Zeb's new editing desk because he can stand or sit at the stool. going to sit at the top of the stairs outside and of I our bedroom. That. I, I got that from the swap because I thought it looked great with your new drafting desk. So at the top of the stairs, we have like this little loft area, landing area at the top there. And I'm going to put a big desk there. And we were wondering what we're going to do because right now I have like this tiny little standing desk that I use down in the basement and it works great but it's not going to look very good at the top of the yeah, stairs. Yeah and it's kind of like it's just a floating standing desk so I paid $65 for the drafting desk you guys will see it eventually but it, I would have paid don't tell Mario this I probably would have paid a couple hundred dollars for it because it's a drafting table from She's Lehigh High School. She's going to watch this and be like what? No we're hugely high high school fans in fact I tried to buy it from her when we took over the shop because it was already here and she didn't want to move it but it's mine now. I also got an old sewing table, which I love too. Okay, next. This might live at the farmhouse. This is probably going at the top of the stairs of the farmhouse. It was ten dollars. It's gonna get a black spray paint job. It and holds one, two, six full-size lights. They're not like the little candelabra style. Yeah, easily black. This would sell for two hundred dollars minimum at like Home Depot at a high-end lighting store. Probably be five or six hundred because this is probably twenty-four inches in diameter. Yeah, it's big. And it's going to yeah. put off a ton of light with six lights in it. It's got a candelabra. Yep, that's what it is. And I know how much you love those. I just like to you. say it. It reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. So 10 bucks, yeah. that's going to the farmhouse. I always love when I can get a deal for that. And then he's just going to show you two pieces of furniture that are over here. I'm going to get started painting. I'm going to go first with Mariana's frame because she wanted to see that. So would you grab me whatever color and a contrast of wax you want me to use? Whatever color and a contrast. Oh, you know what? Let's copper patina this. Give me copper and shipwrecked. Please. You think so? Yeah, an early Father's Day gift. That's what it was. Zip and I are a big like Father's Day, Mother's Day. For Father's Day and Mother's Day, what we want is a nap and meals and, and no house cleaning. I always make sure that Jamie's well taken care of, but at the end of the day, I'm like, you are not my mother. Talk to the kids. <laughs> oh, stop it. You do not. Zeb is the best on Mother's Day. But I'm not the woman that's like, please spend hundreds of dollars on me. Because if I want to spend hundreds of dollars, I'll do it myself. <laughs> we got a massage table back around like Christmas time. And she got yes. like an hour and a half massage. And I can do a good deep tissue. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the the rocks that I got for my anniversary. The hot stone, the hot stone rocks. rocks. I'm a simple woman. For my next birthday, I want a giant massage chair from Costco. So I'm going to take all those birthdays I asked for nothing, and I'm going to put them into one $5,000 massage chair. Um, Can I get a little brush? You got to pay for your boy's college first. I know. <laughs> and that comes up David, right around your Harrison's birthday. Harrison's college is going to cost me three massage chairs. Can I have a little artist brush, maybe? Yes. Thank I brought you, you the stuff without a brush. I have not been in the massage chair at RC Willie. Do I need to? Caitlin? So we were actually, we were talking the other day. Zeb's um, editing studio is going to be at the top of the stairs right next to the bedroom because he spends a lot of time there. And right now he's in the basement, so then we don't get to see each other. And we're one of those annoying couples that likes to be close. So I'll be in the bedroom while he's editing. Anyways, I digress. We decided that we could probably take some of the, the editing studio away because it doesn't need that big of a space and then make room for the massage chair. So when I photograph my bedroom, 
the ugly massage chair is not in the picture. <laughs> I'm always thinking, what's in the Instagram square? I'm like, mm, okay, good. Thanks, Rebecca. This shirt is from jamierayvintagehome.com. It's $24.95 and everything on Jamie Ray Vintage Home ships free. Oh, thanks, Jane, for the super chat. Um, please don't paint the beautiful top. I will not get paint on it. I promise. And if I do, I will wash it off. There's actually, I had some new shorts on at the farmhouse yesterday. I got paint all over them, and they're in the sink at the farmhouse soaking. Um, Here. Let's see. <gasps> Frida has a giant massage chair. Maybe I'll just go to Frida's house. All right, so I'm using my, is this the little Frenchie? Or that the, is the little one. The little Frenchie. Oh, guys, this weighs like 75 pounds. This is cast iron. Popper. The top is plywood and MDF, but the base of Look this thing is that. completely solid. Like this is solid all the way down. It's, it's, is it cast iron? Yeah, and it's, it, I'm not kidding when I say it weighs like 75 pounds. You know I'm a sucker for our cast iron bistro table. I have those bistro chairs that we sell. This is from the West Coast End whatever. It's, it's older. It's not new. It has slotted screws in it. So it's new. They just probably added the top later. It's probably from like an old restaurant. Did we miss the super chat from Jane Tipton or yeah, was that I just moving thanks, stuff? Jane. Oh, I must have just been moving but stuff. you missed it. Well, thank you, Jane. Thanks, Jane. I have one more table to show you. She got two $10 tables. This cast iron is worth like more than $10 in scrap, but it's yeah. awesome. So I will probably sell this for probably somewhere around $89 or $90 easily. Um, I might just leave the top as is and put a really cool like stencil and paint job on it and then pair it with a couple of our bistro chairs that we sell. Because usually you just have to pair it with Because I love you guys and I haven't lifted enough heavy things. Gene says we had a customer. Gene, did you get their phone number? Somebody was looking for a bistro table. If you got their phone number, we'll, we'll paint that up next week and sell it to them. I'm not shipping. I miss Sally's super chat. Sally. Jane. Sally Von Zwall? No, I didn't miss Sally. Not Sally Von Zwall. I mentioned her. Sorry, good. And cards to Millie. Jana says, I stripped a dining room table today. What a project that was. Oh, heck oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is never any fun. That's not the good kind of stripping. All right. Okay, watch out. Man. Well, I had to take up some of your paint space to show It's all right. This. I can paint in any space. So we're going to go fly in a little bit. This one was $10. Little kind of wannabe. It's just a little vanity. French, French provincial kind of style. But maybe a little more modern. The feet aren't that fancy. Yeah, but for ten bucks, and we'll sell it for probably like eighty or ninety. The MDF point. top is a little roach, but we will unroach it. I know a guy that can fix that. I know a girl that'll probably wind up fixing it because <laughs> that guy is building a farmhouse. That is true. Why don't you just move the camera? I did. He did. Zeb likes to assert his manhood. It's Queen Anne style. There you go. There you go. I knew it wasn't fancy enough to be French provincial. All right, everything's getting copper patina today. If you give me a different paint color, I'll paint something different. This box definitely needs something. Um. You know, one of my favorite colors recently is the skeleton key. Yeah, I painted a lot of things in skeleton key for last week's uh, stay-at-home shopping. Network. Why don't we go a little brighter? Okay. I could do that. I could do brighter. So, you know what I did? Did you guys see that copper clock from Thursday? I used fire starter underneath, and then I put the copper patina over the top of it. And then it really made that copper stand out. He has to make up for wearing leopard print cardigans, that's right. He has to assert his manhood on the channel. There's no making up for that. Yep, that, that's a once-in-a-lifetime situation. Can't come back from that. All right, gypsy green? No, that's for me. Oh, I'm like, what am I going to do with gypsy? What, do you, what are you painting gypsy green? Whatever. Oh, I need white to paint that frame. Whatever I want. Whatever you want. The farmhouse looks sturdy and well built. It is. Our structural engineer has a, I think he has stock in the uh, in Simpson ties. In Simpson ties and lumber because there are more structural uh, 
ties in that house than I like to talk about. Paint something yellow. I don't have anything I want to paint yellow. Yeah, I have to be in the mood for it. Oh, part of this, you know what, Zeb? We might have to mold this little um, detail that's missing. Because I have a piece broken? Yeah. I I'll, I'll will not paint the back. So that way we can mold that. Do you have the molding stuff to make a um, mold? Yeah, it's here somewhere. Okay. So we sell a two-part molding thing where you can like mold a piece because if you look at the back of this, it's missing the other part of that hinge. So, all right, this is going over here. I don't know about this copper. This might get paint repainted. Okay. Can dark and decrepit be used on floors? Yeah. I would sand them down so that way it like soaks in. See if I can get this. Did you? Is this white, sweetie? Yeah, white's one. Oh, thanks. All right. I don't even know where you found that. At. Like you a whole quart of it, awesome like copper. a dented can special over here. What? The white swan. I know. You know what? Maybe it was came in the paint that came in today. I haven't had white swan in a while because we sell so much of it and DIY has been behind, so I don't dare keep any. But I bet you. This one has a dent in it, so we couldn't we couldn't sell it. I get the the dented rejects. Still paints the same. All right, we're gonna focus here. We can get a nice even cut line. Keep the key copper on the box. I agree. The key copper is cool. I'm gonna come back to that when I'm no longer live and finish painting the rest of it. I'm thinking maybe mermaid tail on that box, and then. Some drippy copper, I don't know. So if I happen to accidentally get paint where I don't want it on this, I can just clean it up before I seal it because the water, the paint's water soluble. But generally I can keep a pretty steady hand. All our favorite colors are running really low over here. All right, well you can go get some out of the back. I'm just saying like all these cans are like almost <laughs> gone. I'll be right back guys. Zeb's color hunting. Oops. Do we have the Lysol wipes in here or did Jean take them up front? Oh, I, Zeb, I think the Lysol wipes are by the local pickup stand. Can you find those for me while you're getting paint? The what stand? The local pickup. Oh. For paint, there's a big container of Lysol wipes and I need to Lysol wipe this. Somebody wanted the chicken I'm painting. No, they wanted the other tray. And if they wanted this tray, then it's already painted. I try to keep up with comments. They wanted the train with the handles. And it, this one needed to be painted. It had big dings on the sides and the MDF was showing through. So. Right. I'm not painting the chicken. I'm just painting the frame. Kalisha's like, don't paint it. Yeah. This is not the frame that Laura wanted. The, the tray Laura wanted is on the floor safely over there. Unless there was somebody I didn't see. This one desperately needed a white frame and it already had some chips on the side with the MDF that was all kind of swollen, so I did a paint job. I'm just making sure I didn't grab a can of something we already have. All right. Oh, we do have some. Did you find the Lysol wipes? Nope. That's all right, I can clean it later. All right, so this, I just painted the frame on this. I'm gonna paint, when it's no longer wet, I'll paint the underside, there's like a lip here, and I'll paint that too. Susan Nord didn't want this one. Well, if Susan Nord wants it, she's gonna to have to get it with a white frame because it got white swanned. I'm not painting the chicken though. And I'll do two coats so it's nice and solid. And what it's gonna do, this is gonna make the chicken stand out. And also it's gonna hide the fact that somebody, it's not made of wood, it's made of MDF, and somebody dropped it and it had a big ding. Right here, actually, I'm gonna paint right over it. Sorry that took me so long. I was washing brushes. I can always tell when the shop has been super busy with really important things, because none of the brushes get washed all week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. I think Jean might come in on Tuesday and do some shop stuff because she, we've been so busy with customers coming in, not like all at the same time, but just nonstop coming in, one right after the other, that Jean has been just selling stuff and everybody else that works, so. All right. Oh, Jean says the Lysol wipes are at the counter. Okay, well, that's all right. I just need to clean the inside of this. So I would show it to you completely upright, but 
Oh, she did want to unpaint it. Sorry, Susan, I didn't see that. We never guarantee. <laughs> Try not to get on my shirt. Ah, Ta da! So I'm going to paint this all the way, and then what I'm going to do is I will take a Lysol wipe or a damp cloth and distress it and bring some of that dark back through. But the white really hides the fact that the MDF was deep. Jean says, I'm so sorry, Zeb. The shop has been exciting. <laughs> no, don't be sorry, Jean. You've been, it's not like you've been like chilling out, sitting around. So this <laughs> <You've been> water <laughs> will be, now that I've painted the frame, once I finish it and wax it and clean it all up, this platter will be $19.95. I think that's what I said before. If I didn't, I'm tired. Don't complain below. Don't complain. Don't let me know about it. Don't tell me in comments that I'm making too much money on my junk all right uh jean says she'll clean your paint brushes on tuesday oh thanks jean jean's my favorite although also camry's my favorite and christy's my favorite and lauren's my favorite even though lauren left us this week and went to st george or wherever she went she went to the lake what did they said lol sandy what did sandy say Susan says, yeah, MDF is not good. See, Susan, MDF's not great, especially when it's been dinged. It needs to be fixed. Um, the, oh, this, Monet, so this is Salty Kiss. That's like... It's Salty Kiss with White Swan. So that I mixed like it that about 50-50. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's really... You, you know are what the I, mix master. I've really been having a lot of fun mixing colors lately. I mean, and you know, some of these colors are really, really great all by themselves, but it's really fun okay. to mix them too, because, you know, we use the colors a lot. So I want to give you guys options, you know, like a couple of samples, you basically have a pint and you can mix and make your own colors and paint a ton Two of stuff. Two samples is, is exactly a pint. Okay. Eight ounces, right? There eight, you go. Eight and eight, 16. I know. My oh, you liked my right. colors so much you stole my brush. I'll give it back. I'll paint the base <laughs> later. I just want to get a little coat on here so I can do something. Okay, there you go. I'll do the bottom of this in a second when this is dry. We might have to paint a few things. I, I dumped quite a bit out. And that it's covering makes super well. Makes her happy. I should start doing... All right, Zeb, the chicken's going to get it. Not the chicken. Not the chicken. Watch it. Watch it. So Debbie has some color mix charts. I should start making some of those up so that my formulas, I can remember them. Well, you can make your them. own Zeb Ray color charts. I could. This seems kind of rattly. It's sitting on a high spot. There's like a big blob of paint right here. There we go. Connie says, anyone who thinks you're making too much money for your junk has never owned a business. True that. I just, this week I had to do a little splain. I had to do a little business splaining. I was like, listen, Linda, we can still be friends, but I have my liability insurance, my workman's comp, my employees. I, I pay better than most boutiques in the town. And that's because A, my employees are worth it. And B, because I charge enough so I can give them Better wage. Actually, everybody just got raises here recently. Whole dollar an hour, which I don't think a lot of people are doing right now with the current situation that needs not be mentioned. But the tough got going, and the going to got tough, and my employees were bomb, and I wanted to make sure everybody they knew. showed up. Everybody showed up. Okay. Ta da! That's going to get two coats, and then I'll put something awesome in there. All right, where is the color mixing chart? Oh yeah, membership, I'm a member. So we, you know what, we will do that. So the first, we're gonna do a printable, and then the second thing we do this month, because we always do two, is we'll put a Zeb color mixing chart, a mixology sheet, and you guys can see Zeb's favorite mixes, because he always gets asked. I'm waiting to see what I do with the clock. Oh, the big clock I'm not painting tonight, because that'll take a minute. Did you want to see a different clock? We, you know what, we have a big clock back there and a few clocks. We could have like an entire clock painting day right now we might need to just do that uh, i can never break you away from the farmhouse that might happen in like a month where's the heat gun we're, well we're we're not racing against the clock but you know we've been paying essentially double mortgage for a year now and we got to get out of that other house i'm not done with that life like it's it's getting to the point where we're really starting to chase it and we're you know it's really eating into the budget now caitlin oh caitlin borrowed the heat gun Caitlin, where's the heat gun at? I don't know where it went. <laughs> she used it when she painted that thing. Oh, did it get wrapped up and actually put away? Oh, it's possible 
Well, she put it up because Kate wanted to. You might want to check that. Because I was moving a bunch of stuff in here the other day. I put a bunch of stuff that was out. Up. I got, thank goodness Kate and Christy are coming on Monday because I got stuff everywhere. All right, I'm going to show you guys up close in just a second once I get this other side oh, painted. Oh, yeah, the heat gun is put up. Yeah, I think I remember putting it up there. Oh. Oh. Caitlin, if you can remember, I just saw it. I have that market transfer that we were going to send to that customer. So send me the uh, customer's name and the order number, and I will send that to her. All right, I'm going to get the heat gun out. I'm on the ground. Caitlin's like, no, Jamie was using the heat gun next to me. What? <laughs> Diane likes the mixing chart I did. All right, Diane, we're doing Sally, it. Sally, Sally wants a chocolate cake. Someone else, someone else chimed in. Leslie Johnson also. Hey, you're gonna pull that whole mirror over. Okay, Careful on. back there. <laughs> Caitlin's coming to count clothes, and Christy's coming to organize clothes and learn how to put them in. I hired. So Christy is my shipping manager for the home website, and she kind of runs that. But I recently expanded her job to include the receiving manager. So when she receives all the things I buy, she's going to put them in the website. Recently, we switched over and our POS system that takes items in the point store. Point of sale. Point of sale. <laughs> um, is now the same as our website because we've had, oh my goodness, we paid like 70 bucks a month for this thing called Skew Harmony that was supposed to sync them. And it totally messed up our inventory. So we thought things were there and they weren't. So it's been a little bit crazy around here getting everything switched, but it's finally starting to get worth it. So this has a ton of detail and I've been using, the, it's kind of a medium sized paint pixie brush called the Dream. And it's doing a good job at getting down in here, but it's also big enough that it's holding quite a bit of paint to like just one coat coverage the top on this too. I know there were some paint pixie brushes that were out of stock, but I think a lot of them are in stock. Oh, I think, I think they got back in stock. I if think you've I saw been something waiting from for Josie. paper clay, we just became a retailer for um, creative paper clay, and that is up on the website. We will get the IOD back when they get it back, but in the meantime, if you've been needing paper clay, hit up JanuaryVintage.com because we have the paper clay. We also have the Sweet Pickens beeswax is on sale. And we have a few transfers that are 15% off. I can't remember which ones. You can see where it's kind of starting to dry here. I'll get the heat gun on it in a minute. I think we have time. Well, they said that that looks like jadeite, and it totally does. Yeah, it's a good color mix. I was, I was like, oh, I want a green color, but I didn't want to just show them another thing painted apothecary because we've done that a hundred times. Hey, if it it's well good. It. It's a really great mix, but you know, you guys are. Is come to watch us because we like to show you how to do new and fun things. We're, we new experiment and, here and then you can take what you want home and do what you want. New and fun like White Swan. <laughs> hey. I actually haven't used White Swan. You know what though? Look at, this is one code on here. Look at what it's done to this chicken platter. Yeah, it's totally transformed. It'll get a second coat when we're no longer alive. And it'll get a little distress and some clear wax. Okay. Thank you, Kate. They said it looks like a Japanese box, and Caitlin dropped the link for the creative paper play. All right, are you? I need to get this dry. All right, hold on. I'm are you hogging the heat gun? Hogging the heat gun. I thought everything was 50/50. I'm the one that found it and risked my life and limb going under the table to put it over here. Well, that's your own fault for being short. Take it up with my DNA. I'll right. I'll talk to your mom about that. About me being short. Yeah. You married me, so you you took your DNA. You know, Harrington life. the other day had the audacity to blame his mother on the fact that he wasn't like six four. I'm like, I'm not six four, dude. Where are you getting off thinking you're gonna be all huge and stuff? <laughs> Elastic on the sleeves. It's okay. I haven't gotten any on me. All right, here you go. Can I have the brush? And then he referenced the fact that my brother Ty is a couple inches above 6'4". Carrie's five like, foot, so there we go. He's like, it's in the jeans, I could have done it. Can I have it. your green brush? Yeah, this is really tight, isn't it? What? 
Yeah, I didn't have a lot of uh, give on that heat gun, so you're going to have to... I'm going to go finish it figure out the cord situation. Oh, whoa, that's because it's plugged straight into the power strip. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. That's all right. I don't know where the extension cord is. Oh, this is really pretty. So Salty Kish and White Swan. Really, you could probably get the same color with any of the whites. Yep. The hue might just be slightly different. White Swan is a warm white. For Vintage the channel one. members, I'll do a few colors that we've been doing lately. Watch your head. Nah, it's okay. You want to get your new hat dirty. It's, it's already... It's your, it's your filming hat. It's already been sweat in a bunch. You weren't supposed to wear and sweat in that hat. I, I can't help it. It's summertime. I know. You sweat just sitting there, huh? Yep. So I don't think I'll have time to get another coat on this, but I wanted to show you guys the color it is dry. Oh, it's 939. Yeah, I gotta go get Odelia from a party. But yeah, I wanna... we gotta... Odelia's oh. had like six parties this weekend. A cheer party and a birthday party. And... No, she just had two birthday parties. Oh, Eliza two had birthday parties. Oh, two birthday parties. And Harrison had a fun party. All right. I can't keep track of the parties. It's because of the situation. Everybody's getting their party fixed getting their on. Party in. Okay, I need to put something on this though. What, what you do need I need to stencil that? I don't know. I'm gonna go get a stencil real quick. Okay. I can stencil it in a matter of a few. Yeah, just get some black paint. Okay. Or you could use my new fun mix and see how that goes. No, I don't think that's enough contrast. So I haven't decided if I'm going to paint the inside of this. It's kind of like a creamy color. It is pretty dirty in there, so I definitely won't do it on the video. But I find a lot of times, most of the time you're not going to see the inside. And if you just go and paint it, it usually ends up getting so scuffed and scratched or the paint will eventually, even if you seal it good, you'll paint eventually get some transfer onto whatever you're putting inside. So I like to just leave it. Unless I have time to let it cure for like a couple months and then you won't have to worry about the transferring. I told you the paint supplies are looking low over there right now. Nope, I had to go I had to go wait raid the website inventory. Hey, Carol Smith, welcome to channel membership. All the things can be found on community. The community tab on our channel. You can go find all the links. If you're on a mobile device, it only goes about eight or nine posts back for some devices. So hop over onto a computer and you'll be able to see all the links all the way back that are available to you. Black velvet. Channel membership's fun, you know, we, we're pretty candid in our regular videos, but channel membership is really candid. Well, I mean, it may not be fun for everybody. I think it's fun. But it's fun for us. We have fun. I should have grabbed a smaller stencil. Oh, that's, that's some loud sten stenciling. I'll whisper, will that make up for that? No, it doesn't help. I need a smaller stencil brush. If you found me a smaller stencil brush, you're making less noise. It's okay. You're committed now. I don't want to give Jean more brushes to wash, so I'm just going to stick with this. Try not to Carts and Millie. Yeah, creative business is, I mean, that's even a deeper dive into the behind the scenes. That's as deep as we go. That, like, you it's guys, like, that's all the secrets there. It's like the deep end of my life. All right. I'm trying to, like, stencil. It's not flat. I'm trying not to get it on my shirt. Could you? Thank you. Could you actually just hold this stencil down right there? <laughs> yes. You could just hold that down. Oh my gosh. I love you so much right now. Okay, there we go. This is a real juicy stencil job you're doing here. Are you going to do the flowers on the side or just the I got to move it to do the flowers. So just a second. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. That's all right. Nothing like a little distress. Oh, you're going to go for it? I think it looks good, but just the sheep on there. Oh, yeah, well. All right. She's doing it. I need more black. Will you white wax the box? Probably. Yeah, we'll probably white wax it or, uh, I, you know, I think if we distress it, it's a cream color underneath. So it might be okay to just distress it. You know, I can wet distress it. It's got enough on here that we can do that. All right, guys, I'm sorry that's so loud. I'll be right back. If you've got your earbuds in, I'm especially sorry. All right, I'm gonna move that so that way I can get that stuff on there. Sometimes you gotta move a stencil around so it works with your. So these stencils are JRV stencils. We actually have retailers in the US, Canada, Germany, Australia. So if you go to JamieRayVintage.com, you can find them. Or if you want to find a local retailer, go to JRVWholesale.com, and we have a retailer locator. If anybody's still watching after all the noise I'm making. All right. Ta-da! Now, I know you're saying, Jamie, it's a hot mess because you got white paint all over the edge. When this is all the way dry... I'm gonna come back and I will clean up any excess paint that got where I didn't want it, the white paint, and I will seal that and it's gonna look super cute. And I might actually go ahead and paint the whole thing white. I think it'll look better. What do you think? Can, can you move that? I'm like... You gonna get some of my new color on you? Yeah, I think it all needs to be white and then wet distressed. Well, I'm liking it better already. Yeah. Yeah, that, it was throwing me off not painting this, the rest of it. I wasn't sure, but now Ooh, I... Oh, it took a lot off. Watch out for that. Well, if you take too much off, then you can always just put it back on. I did. There's a little bit of copper patina on my shirt, but I think it's an enhancement. Oh, I need to finish that frame real quick. So. That's right. We were a little late, so we can go a little long. All right. So just picture that all the way painted. So this is only one coat, not very cured, on plastic, and it's really. Oh, I need. Do you have a clean brush? Oh no. All right. I need another brush real quick. Sorry, I didn't mean to squish you. It's all right. I need like a smallish stencil brush. There we go. Oh, this is what I needed for stenciling. The 24. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, so I like to use my JRV stencil brushes with the shipwrecked. And I'm doing this just for Brianna because she wanted to see this finish, so. That all the way dry. I'll show you in a second. I'm just putting on the shipwrecked wax. All right, so this cream color, I think, is coming through enough. I don't know that this is going to need a white wax. Do we have a rag over here that I can just dress this back? No black paint on the right sleeve. Not yet. Soon, though. No. No, don't say soon. It'll happen eventually. Inevitably, you'll be wearing it and you'll just do something real quick. It's fine because everything I want has paint on it. Yeah, you know, it's If part I of only it. wear paint clothes, then that's all I'd ever get to wear. And it's I, the look. I got real tired of it. I was actually thinking about auctioning off some of my paint pants. <laughs> I saw some high end places had pants with paint on them. It's like if it's good enough for uh, anthropology. Jamie painted eight things, I got one done. Well, I'm not done with any of my things, which is fine. I'll come back and do it before Thursday. The shipwrecked wax is just wax that has, it's like turquoise wax to look like a patina. I need a, uh, like a washcloth. Not this one. I'm not that one. I need a washcloth. Here, look, I brought the whole thing. No, 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 I don't want, oh, it's fine. It'll work. Oh, you wanted a dry washcloth? It's fine because this will work too. I'm just going to gotcha. pull the copper back. She's going to Lysol wipe. I'll show you. This is going to make it look like tarnished copper. If you want to make it even more tarnished, you can come back with like some black or dark wax. And all I'm doing is just pulling off the wax on the high spots. And then that shiny copper is going to show through. This, anytime I do this to anything, it they sells really fast. These products are a little bit expensive, but this is my first shipwrecked and my first pennies from heaven. I don't think we've opened it. Yeah, when time. did they come out? In March? And yeah. we haven't, and we've done a ton of projects with them and we haven't the, used them all up yet. Well, the pennies from heaven is really thin, so it just doesn't take much. 
All right, there you go. It's going to get my fat baby grandma picture in it. <laughs> and here's a pro tip. Sometimes the velvet gets dirty on the back. I just paint it with uh, black paint. <laughs> but ta-da! Okay, I'm putting this down. All right, guys. Share the video for us. Helps a ton. All right, so that was, just so you guys, if you're just tuning in, that was Pennies from Heaven and the Shipwrecked Wax. And I, anytime I'm using a decorative wax, I use the JRV stencil brushes because then I don't waste wax and I can get down in all the details. And the other thing too that you gotta keep in mind is in this case, when you put that patina first, it has a sealer in it, which makes it so that way I can get the wax where I want it. But if you don't have something with a sealer on it, make sure you clear wax it before you use any kind of dark or decorative wax. And this is 50% Salty Kiss, 50% White Swan, and we got kind of like this fun green, how do you say Jadeite. it? Jadeite. Jadeite. Color. Jadeite tray, Jadeite box, and then show them the chicken. You might uh, you might be seeing quite a few more pieces this color because this yeah. is like the desirable color to find out in the wild. You know, and here's we my can recreate it. Hook thing. This will get painted all the way. A little bit of distress, and this will get put up on the website too. All right, you guys, make sure you're hitting up JamieRayVintage.com for the paint and products that we use today. You can also go to JamieRayVintageHome.com for clothes. Home decor, some of it's one of a kind, some of it's things that I just buy that I love. And make sure if you guys like this video that you hit that share button, copy it and paste it into Facebook or an email or text to your friends. Give us a thumbs up. All these things I'm telling you to do, I'm bossy. You are bossy. I am, but I love you guys. So give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And junk on every Saturday night. Love you guys, thanks for joining us, we appreciate it. We'll see you Monday. <laughs>